we find ourselves in a precarious situation. After the untimely death of our now grandfather, the kingdom has split between his half-brother and his grandson elected as heir to the kingdom of Norway. However, the kingdom of Viking went to someone else. And in order to take it back, it's going to take a lot of time and effort. Welcome back to Crusader Kings 3, everybody. And I'm not going to lie, we're in a bad spot. We're in a horrible spot. We have to take all this back. Luckily, we're young and we've got a lot of time to readjust ourselves and uh, properly focus on where we want to go. And since we're being trained in intrigue and I still can't change it, unfortunately, we're going to have to stick with being trained by who we're being trained with. I don't know how it's going to work out. And I'm again, I'm way ahead in recording. So any and all comments are a bit a bit uh, a little late. Um, we'll see how this ends up going overall. We're being chased down right now, and I want to kind of pop myself over into the kingdom of Norway and get out of here and see if we nope, we're going to be caught and we're going to get beat down. My last chance. Ingeborg has decided that her time for Nadaros has come to an end. Oh, she's leaving. Who is this? She has a give me one year. No, may you may you enjoy your life out elsewhere. Oh, no. Uh, I am out riding my dog snow besides me when she suddenly runs off into the plains. My retinue assures me she will come back. But what if she doesn't heal snow? I said heal wait for me. We'll see what happens. Unfortunately, we're getting our asses whooped. Snow has run away, but we gained two gold gold. Uh, let's see. I find snow after a few minutes of searching, happily wagging her tail and pretending like nothing is wrong. She's clutching something in her mouth, and as she gently places it before me, I see it's a gold, a couple of golden coins. Thanks. 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 We're in a bad spot. My goal is to try and get out of this war if we can. I would very much like to not be in a war. Um, but we're there's no there's no denying that we're in an incredibly bad spot. Um a noble a noble in our court has kind of shown up. And they're gonna chase us down. They just wanna beat the hell out of us. So let's see if we can go. No, don't go that way. Okay. I wonder if we can get our capital back. I'm going to try. I doubt it, but we'll see if we can. Really, what we need to do is get Viking and Viking and Norway merged again. And I don't know if that's going to be something I can make happen. It's a shame that it went and split. It makes sense since I think both had claims on the kingdom. And I don't know if... <clears throat> There was like a big claim or something like there was it was going to happen that way or something. I don't know. I need to become betrothed. Apparently we're 11. I just need to become of age. Once I'm of age, I can have a little bit more, a little bit more on my side. Uh, for now, someone who's greedy, callous and fickle, but is quick. Somebody who might help me with diplomacy could go a long way. An Amazon could also be good. She's 23. Impatient, diligent, and trusting. Asta of Telemark. Genius, a genius woman who's lustful, vengeful, and diligent. I found her. I found her. This is who I want. We're going to get the patrol. I think she's lowborn, which is why we lost some prestige. But. But. She's a genius, and she has a bunch of cool shit. Seven months on this raid. I'm very nervous. We might not get it. I'm not on this raid. We're being raided, rather. This is such a mess. I don't know how we're going to do this. I just need to get out of this war. We're going to be at war for so long. Snow Charmed Vassal. 20 opinion from our vassal, thanks to our dog. She uh, pleased him greatly. Uh, <clears throat> our steward and vassal. I think I need to put you. 
You there? Oh, you just hate me so much. We can't even do any swaying. <clears throat> like, we can't do anything <clears throat> because we're a kid. That's the problem. I'm very, very, very bummed that we are a child. It makes, it makes taking control of our country so much harder, which again, it makes sense. Ugh, here they come. I'm just gonna try and fight it out. Yeah, we're running. Uh, all right, I, hey man, get me out. I will just surrender, we'll just surrender. He gains the contested title, which is what? He's going to get it either way. He wants just a chiefdom. Take the chiefdom. So be it. <clears throat> you, you take the chiefdom. Everything else is we're just being raided. That's fine. Oh, wow. Get us out of here. Disband these, my army. Let them rest. We're in such a bad spot. Viking is all is a mess right now. Luckily for us, they're in the middle of being uh, a fight. They're going to end up dying sooner or later and hopefully maybe Viking will kind of accidentally slip into my hand since I'm young I might outlive them <sighs> all right we need to put some control in our counties oof so much is just uprising 17 years left we need to get our domestic affairs in order with our with our chief with our uh, Jarl Bjorn and we just have to wait. I can't I can't do anything until we're of age. Caught. My guard my guardian, Chieftain Hala, caught me stealing from Chieftain Bo's travel chest while he was visiting the castle. Threatening punishment, Hala demanded an explanation. Uh, so that's the one who's educating us. Uh let's see. I was challenged to a game of other children. I get deceitful, which is gonna be potentially useful. Uh you gain the trait honest, which could also be useful for our diplomacy. Uh, I have no more right to it than others do. The opinion of liege and vassals, I think becoming humble is probably a good move right now. Becoming humble will allow those beneath me to like me a little bit more baseline, which is very, very useful. Already they do not hate me as much. Already my, those beneath me. Again, this is the reason why being a kid is such a pain in the ass. Because, you know, you can't do much. Ooh, we have a champion. Is this our vassal? He's going to have to just stay my spy master for now. Anyway, we're out of wars. We're kind of just dealing with what we can. 20 gold. I'll just take the 20 gold. I just want the money. Uh, let's see. To the modest King Oisin of Norway, despite our lack of bonds, my blood ablution will stand in an alliance. You know what? Viking, Viking, my half, what is he? My uncle? No, he's not even really all that. He's related to me, but he's not even like directly related to me. I'm so far away now from my, from who I once was in the, in the family line. I'm so disconnected from Heralder now. can't murder you. You want an alliance. I mean, an alliance would be good, but I'd like to merge with you, rather. I don't know if it's actually worth it to go into an alliance with Halfdan, who was once actually the, uh, the OG. OG, what do you call it? Heir to this whole kingdom. Um, let's go ahead and hit accept for now. I think for now, I'm okay with this. Uh, let's see. Who is this? My mother can marry somebody. We need somebody via alliance power. Jarldom. It's way over there. Unfortunately for mom, everybody's a child for some reason.
leader of the populist uprising. Who are you? Russian. And a leader of the populist. But look at that freaking martial skill. All right, mom, off you go. Go marry the the pop a uh, leader of a populist uprising. I don't know how well that'll serve you, but you know, hey. Okay, we got an alliance formed with a populist uprising. Sweet. We are air in line to your ultimate Viking. Yeah, see. We're, we're second in line for the Jarldom of Viking, huh? Murder. We gotta murder you. You're our uncle. Nope, I remember naming you after the religion because you were handsome and quick, but you're ill. We have to age up, man. We are, we've still got such a long way to go. I am gonna create um, a, a, a duchy, though, for a bit of uh, prestige when it, when it comes, because we're, we're losing quite a lot right now. We have unraised men-at-arms? Too many of them, perhaps? Yeah, they're eating up a lot of our prestige. Oh, who wants our, our alliance? This guy wants me to go be fighting against... Uh, the king of Lithuania. I'm gonna have to say no. Sorry, sir. My last chance. Versus decided time is time to go. Yeah, she has a claim, this courtier. I have no interest in keeping her around. This is the crazy one that I let in. I, you know what? Off she goes. Thickest thieves. As of late, I often see my uncle Jarl Frederick and my vassal chieftain Bo around the castle deep in conversation. They truly seem to have found common ground. Uh, to see such friendship grow, I will help it bloom. They they help each other. They they cannot be up to any good sense now. Or what are you talking about? <laughs> or I try to get involved, but being a child, it doesn't seem like they would get you know they would do that. Um, I'll just help them help their friendship out. Hopefully that doesn't come to bite me in the ass. It has become a habit to walk snow daily, and I am not sure which of us enjoy the fresh air and sun the most. Snow bounds ahead and looks back at me and barks, as if to say, catch up. And on we walk. And for 10 years, we gained do a dog walking, which gives us a medium health boost. We're in very, very good health at the age of 12. A notable guest has arrived. He is notable because... He's, he's just got really good... I'm going to recruit him because he's going to be a good champion. How's our army looking? Not fully recovered yet. Ah, uh, it looks like half Dan wants a little help. Join me in the Holy War for the uh, High Chiefdom of Galloway. This man is picking up steam and picking up steam very, very quickly. Uh, the vassal in the Kingdom of Alba. He's spreading into Alba. Interesting. As a defender, huh? So he's defending? He's losing. You know what? I'm gonna say no. Eat shit, half Dan. But I'll send you some money as a gift? No, go, no, I'm gonna let him eat shit. He's losing his wars. I hope he keeps losing. I, I have a, a vested interest in not only losing the, the straggling land, as I really just wanna focus up here, but also just him being less big of a pain in my ass and me being closer to inherit his throne. As me and my counselors are gathering for a meeting, my dog Snow approaches me with begging eyes and a drooping tail. She does not like to be left alone, but this is an important meeting. Um, you know what? She joins me. My dog will always be by my side. This particular king, King Oystein II, is a wrathful, but humble and charming man who's quick to his own wit. And having a dog next to him seems to suit his personality. I am so I am sorry, King Oisin, my says my steward chieftain. I have to disagree with what you just grr. Snow gives a guttural growl, and Chieftain Sorker jerks back, looking at, from the dog to me and back. On second thought, I think it's a great idea. I gain 75 prestige. Fantastic. Especially since we're bleeding it a little bit. My friend Gear brought me to the woods to play with a bow. Running off on my own, it did not take long before I came across a wounded doe trying to limp away from me. So we've seen this event from the other side a couple times now, but now we get to see it from the child's side. 
ambitious, which can cause us quite a lot of stress, but honestly is pretty great. I can, it's a slow, it's, it's so slow, I could stab it and watch it bleed to death. Oh boy, we could just, uh, no. Uh, or paranoid. You know what? We'll, we'll become ambitious. I think ambitious is such a great trait to have overall. We'll never like our liege, but that's okay. I know we could raid. I'm really nervous to do any of this right now, though. Raiding, it just seems so dangerous. But I guess we could. Yeah, we could we could hit up Sweden, I guess. How's how's your peasant uprising going? I'll accept your this your invite this time to the peasant uprising revolt fight, but I mostly am just concerned about making money right now. My my coffers are low. Will you stop? Okay, hold up. A merchant has sent me samples of seeds. Plants, he claims, are good for health and mind. But I must admit, I have little experience in nurturing plants. How hard could it be? So we a 18% chance to gain the herbalist. So that's really, really low. But herbalist could be really good. We'll likely get Seeker of Knowledge, which is plus one to our knowledge skill for 10 years, or nothing. Or we can just make 15 gold. I will attempt. And yeah, we got Seeker of Knowledge. It's fine. Up, oh, so be it. Never mind. It's gone. Up, oh, my 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 uncle is dead. He died of old age. So he called me to war before I could respond. He freaking kicked it. And now, uh, he is the. Wait, who? What? Who's the king now? You are. King Bengt El Eccleson, you are severely injured, and you're in poor health. Well, we'll see how long you last before you end up taking it, because after this, I think I'm in line. We gotta hurry up and become old so we can start murdering people if we're gonna be remotely intrigue-focused, which is what we're focusing on, even though that's not where our stats are. Are we still in a war? No. Oh wait, we might not be able to actually... Hang on. We're just gonna loop around real quick. We have to mark them as raiders again. Fifteen gold. To the abhorrent King Oystein. Your false religion has kept your subjects in the darkness for too long. In the name of God, I shall bring you true faith. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's unfortunate. Well, let's go home. Are we allies? Help. Can we arrange a marriage for an alliance? How about my champion with, you have nobody in your court, huh? Hmm. All right. Um, we'll see what happens. Uh, if it's if it's territories out here, I'm not too concerned. They're down here, however. Let's get our men home real quick. Slow the things down. You can convert to the attacker's faith. We change our faith to Catholicism, and he'll end our war. <laughs> Interesting. I don't know if that's something we would do, though. Though, if that's what he's forcing on us, it might end up happening either way. We'll see what happens. Uh, let's prepare ourselves to fight here. Snow the Troublemaker. My Uncle Yarl Frederick approached me, rage in his eyes and dog in, in his hand, dragged along by the scruff of its neck. As he rages at me, I see that is my dearest Snow he's holding. I found this beast among my things. That wasn't chewed to bits, was covered in excrement. My compensator, just a dog? You already don't like me all that much? Take the 50 gold, I can't risk you hating me anymore? I don't know what the F we're gonna do here, man. Ah, uh, 
and now we're being attacked again. Another vassal. We've been unpunished for our wicked deeds for a long time, apparently. Maybe we'll just focus on the on the northern war then. And let the war to the south kind of do its thing. Unwelcome. Githa has been pestering me for some time. She has everyone believing she's a saint, but she mocks me relentlessly for every tiny, tiny mistake. She became your bully. My aunt. My nine-year-old aunt is also my bully. I hate it. Can I actually get this here? No. Ah, uh, yeah. Holdings are now being grabbed. It's just crazy chaotic war in the north and we're just clinging as best on as best as we can. My marshal at least impressed one of my vassals. All right, we're being warred on again. West Francia. <sighs> Great. And we're being raided by raiders. It's just, it's just badness all in the north. The kingdom is falling apart ever since the kings fell. How old are we? 15, we're almost of age. We'll see what happens when we come of age. One war at a time, though. Yeah, let him come this way. I don't know why he's coming to attack, but we're going to let him do it. We should win this fight. Okay. The child commander. We'll see if we can get their capital. But I don't know if that's how that's going to work. You have been captured and detained by my <laughs> my will against my will by the Jarl. Uh, I am no longer free to return to my home and travel. Okay. Well, does that mean we automatically lost the war? I am no longer held by him against my will and am free to return to my home. Uh, to the chattering King Oystein, may humans riding living this oi has gone on too long. Within the target are seized and any Catholic rulers are vassalized. Uh oh. I think we just became vassalized. Seize all territory within your own that is part of the Jarldom of Jilihad. Uh, he gains a bunch of stuff. Viking Norway, I think. It doesn't look like I lost too much. I lost a Jarldom again. I'm okay with it. It's a war that's over. Let's move on and hope for better outcomes in the future and uh, keep pushing forward. We need to start moving back into our territory. You are weak and I am strong. Yep, your uncle is now attacking me. All within Viking. Okay, we begot became a flamboyant trickster. That makes sense. We're not very good at it, but we're finally of age. Thank God. Um, with the help of gear, I finally concluded my studies in, a, in, the, in the art of intrigue. I am disappointed in my results, as I really think I could have done better. As I take my first steps into adulthood, I find myself reminiscing about some of the people who have made the impact on the man I've become. The friendship I shared with Gare, the memorable times with Asta, the things Githa put me through as a child, they all weigh on me. So we will uh, become a flamboyant trickster. You will not forget your fondness of Asta, and we lose the trait Charming. Interesting that we lost the trait charming. We can now get married, which we should do. Okay, pause. And we need to pick a, we're gonna pick intrigue as our starting and we wanna see, let's see. We could also go into over here. Books, tax man, or we could go into diplomacy. How are we looking? We're really a trickster kind of guy. Ah, oh, this is going to be a tough one. 
I think we're gonna go with Intrigue plus two, Dread plus 30, and really go for, hopefully, hopefully just scaring people out of, out of this. So now that we have somebody who likes us, our wife is here. She's a drunkard already, which is kind of a problem. Um, we want to immediately try to romance her. So she loves us. Uh, we would like you to be our court physician. So you'll like us more as well. And we can immediately start murdering people. Because you are already not liked. And I think we can just start murdering the people of Viking in time. In hopes of getting what we need. Romance declaration of love. We've done this before. We'll secretly plant the letter in her chambers. I like that. My declaration of love for Queen uh, Sevilden Hilder. The eyes only. No one, no one else matters. I pour my heart out page after page. My feelings grow as I finally put them into words. The ink is barely dried as I send for her. I gently place a scroll on her bolster. Will she lay here tonight dreaming of me? The waiting is unbearable. The thought of rejection makes me sick to my stomach. When her reply arrives, I tear the seal with shaking hands. While I cannot encourage you, my liege, I am most grateful for your kind words. Well, we, we're trying to just make her love us, so we're working on it. Okay, you are also a pain in the ass, sir. One murder scheme at a time, I guess. Unrepresented, a Welshman from Glamorgan has come to petition me for an increased representation of my government. My lord, we are your local subjects. We have yet no say in how our communities are governed. Would it be so much to ask one of our own people to place your administration? He gains 50 opinion of me, this guy. Or, who is this, a vassal in our realm? It'd be better for him, the vassal for him, to like us. Well, we'll replace him with somebody that'll rule me more. He'll, uh, or be more loyal to me, rather. So we'll go ahead and demand his conversion. Blessed be to Odin. Damn right. Romance is a lady's honor. By Odin, Queen Svenhilda is an insufferable witch. Have you seen how she shoots daggers from her eyes? Ridiculous. My uncle, y'all, Frederick, throws his head back with a wicked laugh. Svenhilda is still conversing with her friends, but I can tell she hurt him. I hate to see her hurt. My uncle's a douche, dude. Uh, he'll... yeah. We get wounded. Vile eyes, draw your sword, knave. Let's do it. You gain the trait wounded. She still likes me more. Uh, the existence of my plot has been discovered. I guess that means we no longer will be trying to murder him, or it may mean we still continue to murder him. We're wounded. Hopefully we can undo that. I hate that we're just immediately in war. There's so much to manage with so many other things we've got to get done. Duke Ebbs took hostage after the siege of Nidaros. I have been captured and detained against my will by Duke Ebbs. I am no longer free from my home to travel. Again, I've been caught. I, this sucks. I keep getting caught. Well, that's going to end this war. Is it not? Free once more. I am no longer held by the Duke. Duke Joffrey is going to grab the chiefdom of Arnheim. So be it. Norway shrinks some more, but I'm not really worried about it. All the lands up here are just shattered, dude. Okay, we're actually winning this war now that we've uh, taken this. I don't know how we're gonna at, at all win anything else though. Like for now, just having a, a white piece would be fine with me, but you won't do it. All right, we're gonna adjust our murdering a little bit as we attempt to get better at it. Um, we're still trying to win our wife here, over. Uh, let's sing her a love ballad. You have a beautiful voice, my lord, says, but she hurries off. We continue. Uh, these wars are just annihilating me. 
I don't really know what to do about them. I can't fight some of them because they're just people are just so much stronger than I am. Uh, you've gained a manipulation hook on Bengt Strounher. Why? Also, they want me to hire mercenaries. Here's the thing. I know they like mercenaries are an option, but they're expensive. I can't afford them. So while I appreciate it very much, game, I just can't do it. A bad omen for the high chiefess. Okay, is this somebody we're at war with? A high chiefess to scare a local mystic with dubious morals and fabricated omen. Perfect. Before the mystic leaves for the high uh, leaves for high chiefess uh, court, there is but one question: Will my false omen be one of fortune or doom? Uh, a good omen. She had a bad omen. She gets a moderate health penalty. That's what we want. Our murder scheme gains progress as we try to take some of our land back here. Armies are everywhere. The whole north has absolutely shattered. Jarl uh, Haralder, or should I say King Haralder, had such great power over them, leading with strength and muscle. Now? Now it seems like that's not the case. You're known for your devotion to your faith. Okay. Well, hang on. With the fall of the settlement of Jarl Gregor, much of the greater Saradigan has been left bare. Oh yeah, curse them. As there are a few local fortresses left to oppose them, the raiders have carried off with every precious item and scrap of metal they can find. Oh, this is somebody we got that got raided. Here, take some money. Uh, oh man, we're gonna have to fight this off first. We took our our land back. don't know what we're going to be able to... We got to get out of this somehow. With the recent upset among the peasants of Vastvargborg, one of my agents has presented a unique suggestion for taking care of High Chiefess. With coin in the right pockets and agitators in every corner, we could stage an entire riot while she passes through the streets. Yeah, let's see if it kills her. She, she, she survived the attack. If at first you don't succeed, we keep trying. Nobody found out it was me because those who also instigated it died. Murder and route. All right, pay a hunter. Where she might die or we might abandon the idea. We're just gonna abandon that idea for now. I have noticed your interest in the arts of subterfuge, my lord. I might be able to help you even more. My guest Sif smiles leisurely as she wanders the garden. Lead the way. Let's see. We can always use a little bit more, a little bit more help. Okay, we've got a control back. Oop, oop, oop. We do not want to get caught out here. We'll see where they go, and then we'll move in after the AI kind of maneuvers around a bit. All right, we're not wounded anymore. We might catch them out. We do. We're trying to pick our battles as best and kind of as we can here. I think we'll actually chase them down so they can't come back. Ah, they're just gonna bounce. That's fine. Let's take uh, let's siege this down. All right, we've got our first perk we can pick up here. Enables the fabricate hook scheme, find secrets, may also fabricate hooks. Uh, fertility 30%, seduction power 30%. Uh, when you torture somebody, you gain either one intrigue or one prowess or 30% intrigue. Ooh, torture, schemer. 
I think scheming right now, unfortunately, while it's not as exciting as I'd like for like torture to be. Which I would maybe go down this tree at some point. I think maybe these hooks. I think we go truth is relative and we, I'm not, I don't know. We might even swing down this lifestyle perk eventually as well. The stewardship one, because money being able to buy people's loyalty is going to be valuable and we can definitely get that there. All right, let's keep undoing the sieges that they've done. One war at a time. Murder a well-timed bribe. It seems that not every servant at High Chief uh, Court is blindly loyal. Shares me that he has in a way, uh, he has a way in that a few coins in the right pocket can go a long way. 50 gold? Too risky, unfortunately, for that gold. Uh, draw your sword. Uh, again, my uncle's insulting my wife. See what happens, probably not good. Your all oh, Frederick draws his sword with a cocky grin. Oh, how I'll enjoy whipping, wiping that arrogant look off his face. When I am done with him, your all Frederick's humiliation is absolute. Bruised and blushing, he croaks out an apology and limps away to lick his wounds. Queen Svelder, on the other hand, is glowing like a sun. You are a true hero, King Oystein. You have my eternal gratitude. Yay. One day she will love me forever. Oh, there's where she's screaming uh, for help. We have to go. This is potentially where she becomes my love. Yep, we save her from the wild animal. My arrow strikes true. She becomes my soulmate. And my glory is widely known. We've actually gotten quite handsome as we've aged up. We're 18 still. Our wife is beautiful. Ah, these wars are not, not going super great, but we're, we're going to get out of it, dude. We are super going to get out of it. The murder scheme is almost done as well. Assassin. Five months lost or we get a coin toss in doing it? Let's try it. All right, she died. She did. And now her boy's in place. Offer peace and force demands? No. Well, I'm sorry you're you're dead. Uh, you're young though, and plenty of time for me to m kind of brainwash you. In the meantime, we we can't murder him yet. Who else are we at war with? You? I'll start the scheme to murder you then. Fine, we'll see how that goes. Rain in the stars. A high chieftain to scare a local mystic. Ah, again, bad omen for the high chieftess. High chieftain, rather. Who's already in fine health, but... We gain some progress, and... He gets a bad omen. We're also being raided, which is a pain. We're next in line to inherit this. The Jarldom of Opland. I think we're gonna try... And actually go ahead and murder him. He's our uncle, sure. But I think it might be best for us to do so. And we have a bunch of agents here that we can potentially convince. If we bribe them, they'll accept. Uh, only one would, br you know what? Yeah, sure. I'll bribe you to bring you into the scheme. 55% chance to move it forward and we're very unlikely to be caught. And if he dies, we gain control over it. That's how we're gonna have to start slipping control out of these places. Oh, somebody kicked it. How did he die? It looks like probably old age. Yeah, it was about old age. Oh, uh, we do not have any good stewards. Oh, uh, we're being chased down. Oh, we're gonna get whacked on this one. Yep. That was a bad fight. I wish I could just force enforce demands here. Um, but I cannot. And she, wow, we're running really far. Um, 
Astra's our friend here. Asura. It seems that Jarl Frederick is tightening security at court, hoping to track down traitorous schemers. My fellow plotter, Asura, is, is concerned that she might have attracted some unwanted attention. Her intrigue went up by one. It was a risk. She could have gotten caught instead, but we succeeded there. Oh, this is not going to be good for us. The time has come. My agents are in place. He might die. Wow, that'd be a fast kill. He escaped unharmed. He's now on his gone guard. We keep trying. Oh, my wife! She's a pregnant. We're finally gonna have a proper heir. As long as we don't die beforehand. My agent approaches me with a bunch of papers clutched in her hands. I found old architectural papers of the Jarl's castle. Excellent. We'll gain those. We'll use those for ourselves. Make it harder for people to gain access to us. I offer Gundir my Saxir's tank thanks as he stares angrily at me through a haze of, haze of alchemy. It was not easy to find someone to volunteer to test my collection of substances. For him, it has been an evening of pain. Burning sensations, occasional uh, drowsiness. What? Oh, this just goes with my intrigue. He does not like me for a while. He's a champion of ours. He's killed by me. I don't want to kill him. Uh, finding out the spying on my secret conversation, but discovering the truth about Andy's unusual habits does not hurt. You, he's got one arm, first of all. We're going to blackmail him. Let him know we know about him. We could invite him to a court. Not gonna. All right. Snow run away again. All right, we're going to chase snow and hope it works out for us. Oh, we got two gold again. Okay, unseaging our lands one step at a time. Maybe sieging theirs instead. Just like if you want to white piece it, dude, I'm super into white piecing it. I'm going to get out of here. I don't want to fight you very much. Ah, I was a daughter. We had a daughter and she's a friggin genius. Oh, my goodness. Well, we need a good Norse name. Aletha. Wow. Wow. Incredible. The time has come. We'll try to murder him again. You inherited the Earldom of Oplin and nobody knows of my crimes. I do love surprise visits. So we stabbed him to death. We inherited the uh, the area that we needed. We're now going to have ourselves an even better champion or marshal. Who needs to be working on getting some control. And we are going to try and get the hell out of here. It honestly might be better for us to end up surrendering in these wars. We got we can unlock another perk, huh? Murder scheme power plus 30%. That's immediate. Uh, I need to murder you. I can't murder you for a while still. Okay. Well, I also need to murder 
You. Well, this guy's a criminal. I think we're gonna scoop him up, actually. And then I'm gonna go ahead and say, negotiate his release and recruit him. And then on our council, oh, he's not as good as I thought he was. Never mind. Well, he's at least in our he's in our council now. And the crusades have begun. Oh boy. All that glitters. My spy master approaches me with a wicked grin. My lord, this pouch contains the dust most nefarious. It's sprinkled on top of something. Oh, we're gonna poison our, our the person we're after. I'm into it. Meanwhile, I'm just gonna siege this thing down. Maybe we can just force the war to end. Courtier captured in siege. Oh, hey there. We caught you, huh? I'm gonna make you our concubine. And then I'm gonna enforce demands and end this war. You lose the, the claim that you were pressing. Uh, unfortunately, I'm super, super, super screwed either way. But we'll see what we can do. In our, you know, in very familial of us to to attack a place and then uh, and then and then take the leader as our concubine. Sorry, I got distracted trying to kill that army. My agents have scheduled a journey for your all Nupa, which will take them through the dark woods. Oh, the woods can be a dangerous place. 19% chance of, of it happening. So that means it's not going to happen. But it might. If the coin flip goes in our direction, let's uh, swing back this way. My attempt has been thwarted. My hired thugs failed to overpower him. It did not take long to trace the payment back to me. I gained 10 dread and I gained this, uh, the scheme people know. He will hate me forever. And all of his family, close family members will hate me forever, but it's okay because I'm going to keep trying. Hey, man. We'll just fabricate a hook on you then. And see if we can use that to end the war. We've already lost our chancellor. Good thing we got that new chancellor in. I'm assuming they also died of old age because yeah, he was, of course, uh, super old. Let's get foreign affairs being worked on now. Um, if we bring you to focus on court politics, eh, it doesn't really help all that much. Keep me help focus on court intrigue, my wife. My wife is pregnant again. Fantastic. Snow charmed one of our vassals. Fantastic again. I love that we have this dog. The Ingling Dynasty is now known far and wide. Our level of splendor has increased. A secret exposed. A shameful truth has reached the light of day. My spy master has an extramental affair with F. Hilder, the concubine of my vassal. How could he defile this marriage? I guess I have to imprison them. Even though that's an act of tyranny? I guess I'm gonna lose a level of devotion here. Ah oh man, we haven't even really gotten a chance. We've just been immediately in crisis mode for this character.
I will miss you, Snow. Snow has walked by my side for many years and the passage of time does not spare dogs. As I kneel beside her, she starts wagging her tail slowly, but she cannot raise her head. I sit with her long into the night, petting her while back until the tail sits still. I lose pet dog. So we had a sweet pet dog for a while and she, she dies of old age. It was great. Uh, let's see. A dark night can truly make the shadows in my castle hallways come alive. The perceived risk for unsanctioned visitors rise ever higher for every unguarded corner spot. And if I alone can see this many faults, imagine what more people can do. I'll gain, uh, let's see. We gain improved defenses for a year. I'll gain a little stress. I love how this character basically walked into a shit show and has since immediately basically become a paranoid plotter. Uh, and so he's kind of lived that life of just desperate and scared of everything. Ah, we have a newborn boy who's also a genius. We'll name him after an ancestor. Oystein has to stop. Heralder. We need a new Heralder in the family. Oops, I keep messing it up. There it is. Named after somebody, a great somebody. Uh, additional taxes. We've gained some money. We've gained quite a bit of cash, actually. There's still a lot of fighting happening over that way. So what is it that these people want? He gets the Kingdom of Norway? Oh. That's gotta stop. We can't have him going for that one. Is that what this one is as well? What does he want? What title are you looking for? You're all Nupa uh, gain 75 based on... I don't know what he wants. Viking Conquest of the Chiefdom? You know what? Just take it. I'll let you have it. Oh, that, that made it so much smaller, but that's okay. I have so much other shit to worry about. Paying homage. My vassal chieftain Tolier has arrived outside my castle with a grand procession of well-dressed diplomats, champions, and exotic entertainers. The fellowship resembles a parade led to Tolier himself. In a booming voice, he announces that he is here to pay homage and that he comes bearing the gift of gold. Such generosity is hard to find in a subject. 50 gold? Uh, 75 gold? Or he likes me more? Take the gold. Can I catch these guys and kill him? Yep, yep, there they are. They walked right into me. We're gonna actually win that fight. Uh, I do wanna chase him down, but here comes more, so I think we're just gonna stay here. He might come at us. Nope, he's gonna back out. Okay. All right, we fought him off. We have another. We had another son. This is with the concubine. Unfortunately, he didn't get anything too good, so he just gets a sweet Norse name. We'll take this back. I know we're being raided. One thing at a time. I can only handle a single war at a time. Uh, has been. Let's see. Hive chieftain Ama's sister. High chieftain Venla has been unusually forthcoming, even knowing that I might not have entirely pure intentions for Amma, she's more than willing to answer my questions. The scheme fabricated hook on the High Chieftain gains familiar we- uh... gains familiar weakness. You grow closer to her. Gains many contacts. Scheme power plus 30. Scheme success chance plus 10. I think the power plus 30, because I'm just going to try and... Kill him off or stop him from winning this war, basically. 
Okay, we got a in new intrigue perk. We'll take that. And now I think I want to swap over, maybe? We can actually have an additional hostile scheme here. But if we swap over to diplomacy... ...and go down this way, I think it might be good. So we're going to move over to Maj Majesty Focus, and we're going to focus on picking up the right skills. Oh god, here they come. Dude, white piece me. I gotta go. Go. Okay. They're still chasing. Okay, we're just going to keep running as fast as we can. Nope. Okay, we're going to lose. Here's where we die. We're going to win that fight, maybe? Okay, we won that fight, but we're going to get caught out again. Oh, gear. If you were still with me, I know you would tell me to be strong, that things will get better. And you would be right as you always were, but first I must curse and cry. How could I not when you were gone from this world? Our friend died, presumably in battle. Yep, he slayed fighting for us. Um, and we ended up losing our marshal. Oh, it looks like the existence of my plot has been discovered. That's a shame. We're still gonna lose this fight big time. Off we go. My mother was imprisoned. I, I know we're kind of going long here, but this war could end our game. <laughs> so I don't know if I am uh, a little bit too done here or not. Yep, there's another fight. We just got completely wiped out. We gain a hook on him. I need out, dude. Yeah, I think this is over. I think this fight ends, so what happens? Let's find out. And like that, we get shunted down to Jarl, with a liege above us, whose air is beyond anything we could ever hope for. And perhaps this new Christian Finnish god, uh, the Finnish people who were once our friends, will lead us into victory. But I think our story ends here, with the rise to the fair hair name and the collapse under their poor leadership as time went on. A new story has to be told eventually, and this is the first of many. I swear I've never been as lucky as when he had my back. Surround the game and congratulate the fight. Around the land we celebrate the night.